Hey guys, this is a quick look and review of the Tineco Floor One S3 Smart Cordless Vacuum and Wash. So let's open it up and take a look. Got some filters, got some cords, some kind of a magical brush, probably a cowboy holster, different kind of cowboy holster. We got a bottle of sauce. Whoa, that looks cool. <clears throat> Pretty nice. Plush. Kind of reminds you of a painting roller. Holy moly. Really nice. Wow. I was not expecting it to be this Beautiful. Watch out for the teeth that cut you when you take it out. I just hit my toe and it really hurt. Some kind of stand. Really nice, really plush. I always love those stickers that come off in one go. So it feels nice, articulates well. I'll remove some of the cavities. So this here is the filled with tap water and their solution. I assume you can use any solution like Megan and I want to use uh, vinegar. What do you got down here? So empty the DWT. Okay. And then rinse and dry. So, because everything has to have electronics in it these days. Holy moly! That is beautiful! Alright, so now what we're going to do is take some um, test cleanings with it. Let's see how well this thing docks. Charging has commenced. Wow, pretty good English voice. So next we're going to add the solution one cap and some water. Here's the added accessories. They include the charging base, the cord, two filters, the one that's in it and this one, two rollers, same thing, this brush, two holders, and the solution. You can also register the product for some included perks. After dinner we have a couple crumbs on the floor so we're going to test it out. So it has two modes, auto and max, and auto scales up as it finds crumbs and debris um, and will increase the, the suckage and the water in the solution. Max will just say, hey, I don't care. I'm gonna go full blown all the time. Got some dirty water in there and let's check. So I filled that up to the 
the max level and it still is kind of halfway. I'm a bit of a tech junkie myself and I can't stop looking to, at this beautiful blue and red ring. When you put it back on the base, it asks you to do a self-cleaning. There's a button at the top, which will drain the remaining cleaning tank into the roller and brushes and do a self-cleaning. So it's kind of like the Roomba i7 with the self-emptying vacuum, but this is a wet dry um, mop vacuum. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, self-clean. So we'll go up here. So we clean and mop our floors almost uh, every, probably twice a week. And this is disgusting. I'm pretty happy that this thing magically came into our lives. It sucks and mops. Pretty fantastic. Well, it's amazing that they include this. It does leave a slight haze on your floor and we probably will prefer in the future to use nothing or vinegar or something more lightweight. Couple things to definitely mention. It is extremely lightweight, even though it kind of looks bulky and fully featured and functional. Now, this is one thing that Dyson and these other kind of charging vacuums don't have, which we absolutely love, is you can just do this and then you can leave it, which how many of you just leave your Dyson on the floor or you bring it back to the charger? Revolutionary. It does like to clean itself several times after a cleaning, which, clean dirty water tank. which we're completely okay with. We like to see some self maintenance. So the first time it cleaned itself, it emptied the remaining solution into here, clean the rollers, then it asked me to empty the dirty water tank. Now it's asking for more cleaning um, and it wanted me to fill this up. So we're going to do that. Start So all in all, we're completely impressed and definitely appreciate how well our floors look after just one application of this wet and dry vacuum. Highly recommended. Hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.